We're going to be testing our spindle at full depth. This is a 2.2 kilowatt spindle. It is water cooled so there's no air pushing out the, the chips and we have a double layer of uh, protection to keep the dust from coming out of this area and we have the vacuum located in this, this location so it's able to get as much suction as possible. We have brush in the inside and the brush is keeping the plastic from being sucked into this um, area of suction here. We're going to be doing a full depth. This is um, three quarters of an inch um, MDO, medium density overlay, and we're going to go full depth at 80 IPM. This is also a demonstration of how well the dust shoe works. We've been using this dust shoe for quite a while and we're really happy with it. Uh, and we're also going to just test the capabilities of the, the spindle at full depth. And also the spindle will be running at 300 revolutions per second. It can start now. Okay, the machining is finished, and this is the condition we have at the end. You can see that it's, there's very, very little dust or chips left on the, on the board. There is some inside of the, um, I did see some before, but I guess it picked it up. I noticed that there were some chips left in these uh, grooves, but when it went um, back around uh, cutting these pieces, it, uh, it was able to get those out. You can see some chips left here, and you can also notice that the, the edge condition is pretty good. Um, the corners are pretty sharp, even using a, an upcut bit. And I would say that the dust shoe and the spindle um, at 2.2 kilowatts is successful at doing full depth. I still have to do some measurements of the, on the dimensions that were made, um, but from what I see, it's, it's pretty good.